everybody. Welcome back to the fantastic SPSS. I'm Dr. Lickerling. In this episode, I'm going to introduce how to transform data type from string data into numeric data. Let's begin. We are going to use the same sample data that we used in the previous episode. Here we can find that if we go to variable view, we see the type of variable here. Case number is numeric, age is numeric, ID is numeric. But we see first name, last name, gender and country are all string type. Now for better analysis so later, we needed to transform gender from string into numeric. Let's say I want to change female into value 1, male into value 2. In order to do this, I needed to go to edit. Sorry, I need to go to um, transform and recode into different variables so here let's go to draw gender into string variable output variable here we, we would like to give you a new name let's say gender numeric because once this transformation has been done, this variable will travel to the very end of this form on the very right of your form. So we need to distinguish it from original variable called gender. Now we click change. Here click old and new values in order to define the new um, value. So here, let's re remove this from the previous history. So let's define female, that's the original value, into 1. Click Add. Do the same for male. Assign 2 to it. Add. Now we finish the whole thing, we click Continue. And then OK. You will be directed to the output summary, but that's fine. We can go back to the data um, input interface. Now you see at the very end, on the very right of your interface here, you see gender numeric column. But we don't want this decimals in the end. In order to delete it, you go to variable new, the very bottom variable you click here and you reduce it to zero now we have a new variable called a gender numeric with one or two as the value input you can do the same for country data to actually transform different country names into different numbers. In this way, you can conduct further statistical analysis such as um, descriptive analysis like frequency. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, you can subscribe to my channel you can also follow the Twitter hashtag Dr. Litterling. I will see you in the next episode in the fantastic SPSS.